day. Welcome to Keywords Everything. I got an iMac. And this is a 2013 iMac. Always wanted one. I have a G3, G4. The G3 is one of the lime green ones. Uh, fantastic computer. A lot of fun. Very iconic. And then even the most iconic one of all times, the G4, which is the dome base. And the, kind of, the monitor is kind of on an arm. Really cool. Not very practical currently because they're great for playing retro games. But if you want to go on the internet... Uh, not going to be a very fun experience, especially the, the G3 one. The G4 one, uh, it's got Internet Explorer and all sort of kind of work, but let's face it, it's like 20 years old. So not much good. But this one, 2013, so I'm hoping this one's going to be usable in 2024. Uh, it came with the mouse, the keyboard. Here's the mouse over here. I think it's the magic mouse. And when I boot it up, it would go to the progress bar. Long hair, I'll show you a picture of it. I got some video. Sit there for hours and hours and hours, never get past it. I tried um, Command R, Alt Command R, Command Shift R, all those combinations. Got absolutely nowhere with this. But then finally, guess what I found out? This keyboard, I probably if you were watching the video, probably well, I've actually shot the video up and I'm not going to post it. But if you saw it, you'd probably go, turn the keyboard on, turn the keyboard on. I did not realize. So if you look on this side here. It's got a little screw so you can replace batteries. Well, I put new batteries in it, but guess what? Didn't work. But if you look over here, it doesn't even say it. A little, little light that comes on. That's how you turn it on. I did not realize there was a button over there. I had no idea. The mouse, of course, has a button. It's kind of like a little on-off switch here. Well, let's see, it's green or red, or green and green or nothing. And green is on. So that I knew worked. The keyboard did not work. But of course, it's got to be turned on. So once I got to that, I did a, I think it was Option R, or Command R, one of those when it boots up. And then it would connect to the internet and, of course, download the old the version that it came with. It was Maverick. So Maverick kind of sucked. Didn't work on the internet. The Safari didn't work. So I did it again, and I got Catalina, and it works. Uh, is it super fast? Uh, well, let's, let's turn it on and take a look at it. It's got the bong, and a very nice display. It's kind of hard because the uh, camera kind of shows all the shadows. But you see how long it takes to boot up here? It's like maybe 25 seconds or so. It kind of gets so far, and then all of a sudden it's, it's booted up. So let's let her boot up. Come on. And again, remember, this is from 2013. Uh, it's got a, just a large one terabyte hard drive, really cool. It's a Core i5 and 8 gig of RAM and one terabyte hard drive. So specs for that time were probably fantastic. 1080p display were fantastic. Now, uh, mediocre. But does it work? Does it work in 2024? Let's find out. Usually it gets to like right about here. I've used it a bit. <clears throat> I did put uh, Google Chrome on there. And I'm going to put some more apps as I go along just to get it more useful. But I don't know. Tell me, would you use this something this old in 2024? Come on, it's booting up. So one of the, the plans for next is I'm going to upgrade this with a solid state drive and probably some more memory because to open this up, you just can't open up. you got to slice around the whole display and peel it back, then put all new adhesive on there and stuff. Not a simple five-minute job. but So let's log in. Okay, I got my password in. So let's log it in, see how that she does. See, it logs in fairly quick. Should get the bar here pretty soon. There we go. So it looks like we're logged in. Not too bad. And here's Chrome. See Safari. So I think uh, probably most people you can use it for surfing the internet, those kind of things. Looks like that all loads nice and fast. I picked Chrome because I know it's going to be supported and always a little faster than uh, Safari, of course. But you can use Safari if you like. Let's bring up Safari. Looks like that's all fine. Let's go to Yahoo. Everybody likes Yahoo. Let me close him. And let's try out YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. I did turn off the sound, so I, I don't want to get a copyright against myself, you know? Let me look at that one. And let's see. That's auto, 1080p. Okay, beautiful. Let's make it full screen, see if I get any kind of stuttering. That looks all good. Escape out of that. So yeah, definitely perfectly fine for 
surf on the web, those kind of things. I'm going to put some more apps on here, like Word and Excel, and just to kind of get a feel for how well it's going to perform. But I tell you what, I think it will work really well. If you're not expecting a whole lot, but maybe it'll do a whole lot. I don't know. I think all in all, it's not too bad for what it's doing. And here's the uh, specs. Let's see the system information here. Let's get this thing out of the way. The App Store. Uh, it's quad core, two point seven gigahertz, uh, eight gig of RAM. Let's see. What else we got here? Let's see. Memory it has two four gig sticks, so I think if you want to upgrade it, you probably have to take one of these out, get a much larger one. And I'm probably gonna do that. I'm gonna probably put two eights in, maybe, or maybe just one eight. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. Uh, I figure if I'm going to open this up, because like I said, you got to rip this whole key, whole uh, display off. Got to slice the, the seal on it, peel it off, remove this, remove all the adhesive, put new adhesive on, stick it back together. I'm going to do the solid state drive and the uh, memory because one solid state drive way faster. Even though you're not going to get a full terabyte, I'm probably going to like 256 gig because I don't want to spend a lot of money on this. I uh, didn't spend a ton on it already. So <clears throat> I just want to have something you can play with. And I'm very well surprised at how uh, actually fast this is for what it is. You figure it's 2024. This came out, let's say, 2013, 14, 15, somewhere in that range. So let's say eight, nine years old. Not too bad, but, uh, you know, pretty good. You can see it's pretty pretty nice and fast. The display is fantastic, 1080p. Uh, but do you need any more than that? Probably not because it's actually pretty good. But I think just for general purpose, if you want to surf the internet, do some general work, I think you're going to be very happy with this. Um, you and watching YouTube. So I don't know. I'd say let's keep using this bad boy, see how far we can go with it with some updates to get a little, little faster. Because you can see there's a little, little couple seconds to open an app. But all in all, not bad. Not too bad. You get the pinwheel every now and then, but it's not like it's unusable. Smooth scrolling. Yeah, pretty nice, nice little computer for 50 bucks. Like I said, I did have to do quite a bit of work. I actually spent a lot of time getting to this point, but I'm liking it. So can you use a iMac 2023 in 2024? I would say yes.